Butterfly, also known as Felicia, coming at you with a haul video. Hi, welcome back to all of my current subscribers. I really appreciate you hanging in there with me and waiting for me to come back. I also want to welcome you to my channel if you are a new subscriber or if you have never subscribed, which you should go ahead and subscribe. I do lifestyle, I do home decor, I do home renovation and Ray Dunn videos. Um, I still am a lover of Ray Dunn. I know we've been out of commission because of the quarantine and having to stay home, but now the stores are opening back up and now they're getting things. So I just want to share a collective haul with you guys. It's of Etsy, TJ Maxx, Home Goods, and Marshalls. So I've kind of got all my stuff together and I want to share with you guys. You're going to see me doing a lot of more hauls from Home Goods, um, less probably Ray Dunn, more stylings for the home because that's where I am in my life right now. I'm really styling my home a lot more. So let's get to it. The first thing I want to show you is a birdhouse that I picked up. And I know you guys probably have seen this everywhere. This one says home and it has a dragonfly in the back. Really gorge. Um, I also wanted to show you a mug that I found. Um, this one says, I love mom. Very random, was not looking for any mom mugs, but I did think this was very cute and I do love the pink color. I don't know if I showed you guys this one already, forgive me if I have, but this fly one that I had bought online, yeah, I took the bow off, but it's like a, um, I always, even though I change out my bows, I always put them back in here. It, it, it came with the burlap bow, so, so, and this one says fly. Like, I have like a bunch of fly ones. This one says fly as well, but this is old. Yeah, you see fly. Yeah, I don't know what it is about me and fly, so I don't want any more fly birdhouses. Um, okay, let's move to the candles. <laughs> I bought this candle the same day that I bought another candle, this lavender calamine. I bought this one from TJ Maxx, y'all. I love this candle. I love lavender, it's very relaxing. When I take a bath, I always pull out my lavender candles, whether it be something from Bath and Body Works or something from, you know, Marshalls. Now, let me tell you about Bath and Body Works. I have been wanting to get some candles, like I really stock up during the holidays when they have the $8 candles, now $9 candles. Well, they have been jam-packed and lined out the door, so I haven't been able to go to Bath and Body Works. And I'm just not willing to wait in that line to get one or two candles. So I just been going to Marshalls here lately, picking up candles. So that same shopping trip, that same day, I went to a different store. Now mind you, I got this one from TJ Maxx. I got this one from Marshalls. <laughs> same candle, same scent. I don't know what I was thinking. I've just been on a candle frenzy, just really wanting candles here lately. So I don't know what I was thinking. Um, <laughs> I picked out another one called Mango Clementine. I've never burned this one before, but it smells like summer. If you want to smell summer, this smells like summer. It just smells fresh, clean, citrusy. Smells like summer. Of course, it's a smells like mango and clementine, like oranges and mango. Smells really good. This one is a little different. I got this one from Marshalls as well. That one was $6.99. This is $6.99. This is called Le Tabac. So I think it's tobacco. This smells like tobacco. It smells fresh. It smells like a man's cologne. It smells super sexy. So I probably burned this in my bedroom. Super sexy. Love it. Just smells so good. Just love it. Um, <clears throat> then I went on Etsy. My dumb buddy knows, Lisa, that I had been looking for um, some of those marshmallows to decorate with, because you know I love to decorate. If you're not following me on Instagram, I do post my little um, displays on Instagram. So I've been wanting these marshmallows, y'all. I have been fiending for these marshmallows. But like, there's some kind of marshmallow that's like a ripoff that looks like 
cheap and then there's these called 180 degrees and they were hard to find and she sent me a link to an Etsy seller that was selling it and I was like so depressed because to get one of these would have been $50. Um, I kept looking and looking and looking and looking and I got two for less than $50. So I ended up getting two marshmallows which I'm excited about. One with her little eyes closed and her little dimples and the other one that's smiling and like yummy. So I love my little marshmallows. So I was excited about those. Finally. So now I can buy the little hats that they have on Etsy and decorate with them. I just think they're going to make my displays look so cute. Okay, next. I've been drinking a lot of wine here lately. I don't know if it's because of the quarantine or what, but I or, or, or because I found this delicious wine. I mean, it's just so delicious, y'all. I love um, really good wine. So sweet. My wine has to be sweet. And I want to buy, I wanted to buy another stopper. And this looks so summer to me. I got this from Marshall's for $7.99. It's like a little starfish. So I thought this was so cute. So yeah, I got me a little summer wine stopper. Yay me. Um, thank God for dumb buddies. I had a dumb buddy call me because I've been looking for Fourth of July stuff and they're just, I have just not found any. But to be honest, I haven't been getting up early, hitting the stores because I've been really, really busy working. So I haven't had a chance to like get it at nine o'clock in the morning because at nine o'clock in the morning, excuse me, <clears throat> sorry, because at nine o'clock in the morning, I am actually working, so, in, in meetings. So, when my dumb buddy called and told me that they were selling these online, you know I jumped on it. They say, happy um, 4th of July. I got this from TJ Maxx online. Lisa was like, they're selling these online. You might wanna go pick it up. And the little scoop, which I have a scoop, but it's not blue. And this costs, this retails for, y'all, I don't have the price in front of me but I'll try to find it and list it. But I thought these were really cute. I can't wait to decorate with those. Can't wait, love them. Okay, now I wanna tell you about my decorating. Um, I went to a home goods that's not close to my home, that's kind of far out, like 45 minutes from me, and I got there like the first person there Saturday morning, and I was so excited because I found a lot of cute stuff. A lot of this stuff I'm gonna have to insert the pictures, guys, because it's like too big. <clears throat> But I want in. Um, but my kid's bathroom has those wire shelving um, things on them, and, I, and and it doesn't have a door. So I was like, well, what am I going to do with this? So I end up going on to Pinterest, and I found a closet setup that was so cute. Let me insert um, my Pinterest inspiration. y'all that is just so gorgeous and when I went to home goods I went with my measurements and I bought these baskets this basket actually has a lid Let's see and this one costs $9.99 they can put stuff in there and I have two baskets like this that do not have a lid and these baskets were $7.99. And you can probably get these at Home Goods anytime. And also Marshalls, I've seen them. But I just use that inspiration, so it will be super cute. I also found two pictures that I'm gonna use in my house because my house is painted gray and everything is gray, but I wanted to bring in color. Of course, my favorite color is blue, so I wanted to bring in some blues. And so I found these pictures, which I will insert. love these pictures I think they're gonna be so cute on my wall I'm gonna um, pair them together so I'm loving that stay tuned for that I also found a mirror now let me tell you about this mirror I have been looking for a mirror to put in my entryway and an entryway table so when I saw this mirror I just instantly fell in love it is super gorgeous it is super spectacular it is stunning and I love it um, and I got this from home goods as well and it was $59.99 now the pictures were $49.99 a piece but the actual mirror was $59.99 and I love it so um, I'll insert the picture of the mirror
Now, as I was walking through Home Goods with this mirror, I got stopped at least four times with people telling me how gorgeous the mirror was. So I was like, I'm not putting this back. Cause usually I'm one of those people that immediately falls in love and puts it in her basket and then just walk around and see how I feel about it. And then I kind of had doubts, but the more people were coming and saying how beautiful it was, it kind of confirmed that, yeah, girl, go and get this. This is, you're not gonna find another mirror like this. Because it, it's different, but it's not too different. <clears throat> And my style has changed, y'all. Um, this house, and I go by how the house makes me feel. For me, this house makes me feel like it wants to be transitional with all the archways. So it's like a transitional, modern look with the hint of, you know, because I'm going to keep my Ray done. I still love Ray done, but I'm going more towards a modern style. So the farmhouse style, I've always kind of been on the edge with that. I would call my style more of a farmhouse glam instead of a true farmhouse. So with my updates in my house, I was like, you know, I want to go more modern, more traditional. So you're gonna see those elements as I decorate my home and I will take you guys on this journey with me. I still am doing from build a grade to upgrade. So if you're supporting that, I greatly, greatly appreciate it. If you're enjoying my haul videos, please like. If you haven't already, please subscribe because it really helps my channel and you'll be able to see my updates as I update my YouTube channel to the house. So that's all that I have today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you seen something that you may want to use or were inspired. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and let me know what you think. And I would love to hear your comments about some of the stuff that I have. And do you like that mirror? All right then, have a great day, bye.